Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So last episode, we managed to pick up a Mortis 75 ton mech. I haven't done with it anything with it yet. As I mentioned last time at the end of the last episode, uh, we don't, uh, there isn't really anything left on this. We've got the lower melee on the one arm uh, and the hatchet does come installed, built in. So that does remain on the mech. Uh, so that's pretty much all we have. Uh, no core. This is a 375 core. We, the biggest one we have is a 280. So um, we don't even have a double heat sink kit for this thing. So it's not like we can put up a lot of heat, we heat uh, generating weapons on it. But um, it does have six laser points, one ballistic point, and four missile points. So we've got some good options to load this thing out. Um, but once again, if you guys have any comments, please throw them in the comment section down below. Hold on to this probably for a couple of episodes. Um, just dropping a, a, getting it basically repaired and dropping a core in it's going to cost us 800 and something thousand. So that's like half our money and then the other half is going to go to our financial report at 767,000. So we really got to start getting some C bills here. So we're going to take a mission here right away. Um, nothing's changed on the max. We just got them repaired so we're ready to go. Uh, now let's have a look what we got here. Looks like a couple of other things have popped in. Ambushing a convoy in the jungle. Not a lot of sea bills on this, but really good salvage. We might be able to get something good out of that. Um, destroy a base, 419. Although I'm thinking the ambush a convoy in the jungle might be the better of the two. Two and a half skulls. Not initially good payment, but we can get a lot of salvage out of this. So, yeah, let's just do this against the locals. This will be a pretty should be a pretty good one. Um, gonna go this way. And yeah, let's just go. I've got eyes on the target. Ooh, looks like we're dropping on pretty close to being on top of them. We got some guys with us. Local government convoy inbound. Oh, okay, this map. We're starting on the hill as opposed to down here in this area. That's where they're headed. So this couldn't be a better spot to start off. Now we're do we have allies? We do. They're all here right with us, too. What do we got? Um, that's theirs. Shadowhawk 2C? It is? That's the 45-ton version. Mongoose. Ooh, looks like they got three lances. I think we're going to end up with problems with sound here. That's the Shadowhawk 2C. Do we only have two guys with us? We might only have two mechs with us. Looks like it is. And they've got three. So we've got, what do we got here? A Centurion? A Dervish? Hybrid Carrier? Thunderbolt Kinetics? And LRM Follow the Leaders? That's not good. Regular Dervish with one missing and Centurion. Okay. Light Carrier. Warrior. Prowler. So this is probably the convoy. Turhan. Sleep near, sleep near. R10. And something. Mantis. Okay. Um, good to go. All right, so as we prep this, I was thinking on the way down here that what might be a good way to go is to reallocate the mechs to the different lances. So bring the Centurion into play. Oh, we need to kill this hybrid carrier. But let's not get into a position where everybody can shoot at us. Let's get around here. So I'm thinking about taking the Men's Shen down to the second lance. And maybe make it the commander. Wow. Really, huh? All right. Well, we're going to do this. Let's take this. And we're going to run the risk. I copy. And hope the vehicles go into that. That's where they got to go through, right? So we might get lucky with a shot there while these guys figure out what they're doing. So yeah, so the mention would be the commander of the second lance. We bring the Centurion in, 
Um, hopefully we can find a ton of LBX ammo, LBX-10 ammo, because we've got one ton already. So we can run that with an LBX-10 and then maybe an SRM-6 or a pair of SRM-4s or something in the torso. Um, or we got the um, those singular Goss, um, what are they called? Hyper Goss or whatever they are, the one ton, 30 damage, uh, single shot Goss, well not single shot, but eight turns of firing Goss rifles. Um, do I want to reserve? I think I want to reserve Hopper. So we could put two of those in. I mean, it would be relatively close range mech. And then um, the next one down would be the Irenia. And then I would keep the LRM Irby for indirect fire support. And that would be the second Lance, which could then handle like two Skull missions probably. And then our, our new Lance with the 75 ton, 70 and a pair of 55 ton mechs will handle the three, the two and a half, three skull missions. So let me know what you think of that in the comments. I think that's probably the better way to go. We can adjust our loadouts a little bit. The Men Shen could go back to the four SRMs or something like that. Right? Put a double heat sink kit on the Arania, load it down with laser weapons. Um, Centurion would be the ballistic beast. Yeah. We need a TBM carrier to move. Because I want to shred them in one turn here. Hopefully shred them in one turn. We'll find out. Should get a direct line of sight using Artemis ammo. What's that guy got? Shit. It's another guy that's got to go. Light carrier. He's got to go too. So some of those guys might end up in that barrage circle. Maybe, maybe not. How can I help? Um, how much armor does this thing have? Not that much. Let's drop the MRMs on too. And I'm going to go with Artemis because I want him gone. Yeah, baby. See ya. This guy's next down here. Yes, Commander. All right, B. Um, you go fuck that guy up for me. Actually, you know what? You could jump into... I was thinking we would jump in and ping these guys. But it's not going to help this turn, but it will next turn. We can ping and jump out. So let's go after this guy down here. Let's hope we get a good chance with the uh, barrage. Probably not though, because we can't see him. <sighs> we take the chance on him. Let's not forget to do this. Let's take the chance on him. Well, the barrage is close to him, it looks like. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Commander. Okay, let's get around here. Limit the number of guys that can shoot directly at us. Now, uh, this is what, a warrior? I can't target it because the thing is over top of sleep near. Oh, we, we can see what they have now. Four energy on the mantis. That's actually not that bad chance to hit. Another sleep near. So these guys don't really have a whole lot. 20% in the warrior. Zeus SR, or LRM5, L LK. No biggie. Light TBM-5 carrier. This guy's got high explosives at 
What about the guy in the valley? That guy's a little better. So let's go after him. We gotta kill both those TBM carriers. However we can do it, we gotta do it right away. Don't know if anything's gonna be in that circle. But it's in the right spot. Okay, Mongoose. Don't really shoot the vehicles. The mechs we can kill later. If we can one-shot these vehicles, get rid of them. We can do the mechs afterwards. Okay, nice. You're wasting the AMS on those guys, though. Should be using it on our guys. Or using it for our guys. Now, I could just stand here and fire. Actually, let's move. Um... Doesn't really matter where we go. They can pretty much all see this mech. So let's just get down here. Now, can we see the TBM carrier? There it is there. 11%, huh? What about this guy? Still 25. Let's go on him again. Oh! I must have hit ammo. Beautiful. Those guys are getting an EWS ping this turn. Beautiful, man. Shoot them, buddy. Shoot them. Don't close. Talk to me. Oops, the mongoose is in the way. Sorry, buddy. My apologies. It's going to be bad for you. Mm. Five twelve, eh? Hundred and twenty on the front. No idea what this guy's got. It's the mechanized dervish. I don't want. We'll shoot you guys later. That's the TBM carrier, eh? These guys are pretty much toast when they get close. Let's go after the TBM carrier. They're all going to get pinged in a second. Well, at least they ain't shooting my guys. Now I got a question. So the warfare ping, I got a freaking minefield, really? Screw you guys. So the EWS ping, does that carry over after your after you ping them to the end of the like next turn or this turn or does it have to go first? Um, let's fire everything on this guy. Wow. Well, we did have bad chances to hit. Because if I move in and ping these guys, it's not going to affect them for next turn, so there's no point in doing it unless I can do it before my other guys shoot. If I'm not mistaken. But the Warfare Suite should have, like this guy's got a Warfare Suite, right? So it should be ECCM and, I don't know if you can do both at once. Standing by. Like, is it both? 
You see him shield within 190 meters. You see him jammer reduces sensor checks by two, blue circle, light blue circle. So this has got both. So it applies both. So I don't have to worry about. So if I do that, that should affect them all. Let's just brace. I'm not going to ping. Well, let's figure this out. I don't know. I'm going to ping. Got a lock. See, now I don't know if that... If you guys can comment below. I don't know if that applies a minus one to all of those guys for one turn. Or am I just reading that? Maybe I'm reading it wrong. He's outside the barrage. I think they'll all be outside the barrage. Mike her away, baby. That's all you're going to get. No idea how many chevrons of evasion this guy's got. He's jammed and protected at the same time, so these guys should all be jammed. Now our light blue circle is a lot smaller, so it should be in here somewhere. So at least these guys are. I think the mantis is as well. Warrior, come out and play! All right, here they come. Time to kill these guys. So they're taking landmine damage. This guy was anyway. Yeah, they'll all be outside the barrage. Oh well. Can't have everything. Yeah. I gotta get used to figuring out where those barrages can land. I guess they're really only good now against static targets like turrets and, and buildings. Or if you can actually hit a mech with it, then it's good. Or if you can target yourself with it and then jump into a group of mechs, that would work. That should be an option. <laughs> target foot, jump into an enemy mechs and have the barrage land on top of you. Come on, finish him up. Nah. Can't have everything. Alright, we're going to have to shred these four vehicles now. At least they're in dead fire range. Oh, that's some good damage. Panic, no kidding, man. Should be dropping a load right about now. Oof, that's a lot of landmine damage. 12. Way more than we've seen in the past, that's for sure. Well, that was helpful. You know me, I like to help out. Minefield on the way. Still gotta move though, because we gotta make sure we don't hit our own guys here. Let's get into here. On the move. How much are we taking? One, okay. Oof. Way better chance to hit now. 37. Tab, not cap block. This guy's got a lot of armor. Well, not that much. Still not enough that we can chew through. This guy's almost gone, though. So that would be a kill, probably. This guy's got a lot in the front. Nope. Ignore those guys. 
These guys are too close to the front now. This guy's got how much? 116 on the front? Nope, not quite enough. Where do we cluster, though? Side. Why is it? I can never hit the look. The f whatever. And you notice it's like the opposite side. Like it's on it's on their right side. Look, my left, but their right. You know what I mean. And then if I move over here and shoot them on the side, it'll hit the front. Well, at least this guy can shoot him in the side. The front of this guy hopefully can be handled by the Burkut. The archer can hitch tread this guy again. Receiving you. It's all minefields over here, eh? Well, that's not bad. Up high. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the vigilance. Uh, maybe I should. Okay, we're overheating. Uh, what can we leave off? That has the potential for more damage. ER medium. I mean, we are technically shooting this side. How does that work? Oh, I see. All right, let's go this route. Come on, kill him. Not quite enough. Reporting critical hit. Not quite enough. Come on, finish him off. Yes. Nice. Took three max to kill that guy, but he's down. We'll back up the archer to the road here and shoot this guy. Now that we've got her in here with the uh, ECCM. Okay, that should probably do significant damage to this guy. He's got 94 in the front. Maybe we kill him? I don't know if we get lucky and cluster it. Yep. You were brave, I'll give you that much. Sure was. Sure was. Oof. Those HEs, man. Got to kill those guys fast. You know, if we can get... I don't know how much those those uh, Thunderbolt 5s weigh, but if we can find some Thunderbolt 5s, like if they're like 2 tons or 3 tons, that's a good option for the, uh, the missile urban mech. Get 4 of those on there with high explosive and just target the hex next to a bunch of mechs and then hopefully splash damage all of them. That might, might be a lot more effective than uh, using the LRMs. Because right now we have four LRM-5s on the thing, which isn't bad. And we got a couple of strap-on rocket packs, which can increase the damage and direct fire, but, you know, having the HE and just being able to stand back from range, right, I can lower the, uh, the engine slightly Add the ability to carry more ammo. It's a possibility. Ow! Someone's got an AC-10. 
He's taking damage from landmines, though. That was sloppy, lad. Sloppy? Dude, he hit you for 60. That was sloppy. Standing by. Supersonic. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Supersonic. Eh. Let's go after this guy. We might get lucky. Hit the front. We're really hot, but we're going to fire all of this. Of course we won't hit the front. Why would we hit the front? Score. Never mind. I <laughs> take it back. I just got to learn to stay quiet. Like, what? Why, do I, why talk? Just why talk? My wife says that to me a lot, too. Why are you talking? Who are you? Why are you talking to me? Does this guy have the ability to get out of here? Oh crap, no. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Um, let's move into here. He'll be driving past the archer here in a second. So let's just shoot him in the ass. 100 bucks says she didn't hit the rear armor. Oh, she did. Once again, why am I opening my mouth? Rear end side. Alright. Oh, who's this? Gonna step? Ooh, 58. Not bad. Not bad. Aye, aye. Supersonic. Um. Yo, yo. God, this thing is still going. Yeah, I think we got to rethink what we got loaded out on this uh, on this lamb. Flamers would do better against vehicles as long as we have better chance to hit. I don't want to carry ammo though, so we have to use regular flamers. I don't know. Something I got to think about. Supersonic. Where are you going, buddy? Oh! Oh! Is that the mongoose? That was the mongoose. Nice shot, though. I can't let that go unanswered. This vehicle gets a free move for this turn. Then it dies. Archer's going after the Centurion. We've got to shut his ass up. I've got your back. Where's the Senti? Affirmative. Where is he? There you are. Uh, I'm dropping the ER mediums for now. Get some heat back so we can get some movement next turn. Ooh, laser AMS. Applying a bit of heat damage to this guy. He'll die next turn, so I'm not worried. Somebody else going on 12. Probably the Prowler back there. So we still got, what, two, four, six, seven guys, eight guys to go probably? Right? Am I counting that right? The uh, convoy escort, one convoy member, and, yeah, and 75% of the uh, local government support lands. So eight guys left. Eight to five. It's probably the, the uh, copter figuring out what to do. I think it's got medium lasers. Oh. Oh yeah, it's the warrior. The warrior is coming out to play. Alright. Um Yes, Commander. Let's 
Doesn't matter where we go. They've laid a fair number of minefields already. Gonna let her chase this guy down, though. Wow. Let's get like that. Three, three, three. Okay. Not that bad. All dead fire here comes. He needs to go. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Now let's focus on the jerks up here. We could bail out, but what's the point? This centurion's got to die horribly. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Who's that? That's the uh, dervish? Yeah. Yes, Commander. I copy. Okay, he's got to be limited in what he can shoot this turn. Just because of our heat here. Um, lasers are pretty good, so let's just go with them and we'll just turn the SRMs off for now. Uh, let's turn off the pulse too. It's not really saving us anything though. About the same, so let's go that route. There we go, beautiful. Nice. Vehicle trash. And then there were six. Yeah, I think we need to go back to the, the incendiaries on this Burkut. I'm thinking now, because it would be beautiful just to jump in behind that Centurion and flame him up. I just don't know if we need to carry Flamer ammo for it, though. The last I read, the Flamers, it said, oh, you need, you need Flamer ammo. And I'm like, the original Flamers never needed any ammo. Just the uh, heavy Flamers and stuff did. So I don't know if we need Flamer ammo for all of the Flamers now or what. Because if we do, that's going to be a lot of weight. We'll be limited what we can carry. Because once again, like I said, we've only got 10 extra tons. So it's not a lot for weight and heat sinks. If we can just use regular flamers, which are, I think they've turned the heat up on them. I think the, originally I think there were four or six heat, but now I think they're 10. So we can get a few of them on there. I just don't think I don't think we can flame our boat like we used to. Awaiting orders. I want this TBM carrier, but I don't want to get close to the Centurion. Wait, they go on. What do we go on? 13, just me. This guy goes on 16 though, this guy goes on 12. What if we... Precarious. Trying to find a way to get a ping on this guy without uh, exposing myself. But I don't think there's really a way to do it. Let's do this. Then let's go ahead and vigilance. Let's see what we can do to this guy. I want to see if I can get the barrage on him too. Let's go ahead and fire on him. Okay, the barrage missed. Well, it's... I mean, it's denying them that small area anyway. Okay. Talk to me. Don't bother moving. 
Let's just hammer the Centurion again. Roger. Both lasers hit. Plenty of incendiaries. Okay, he's nice and toasty. We're moving up with the uh, Mian Shen right after this, and we're going to hit him with the uh, Infernos as well, if we can get close enough. Yeah, this Burkut, man, it's it's a toss-up of how much I like it and how much I hate it. It's beautifully maneuverable, hard to hit, very stealthy. Yeah, see, that's why I want this guy gone. Fucking Barely HE. Hit, yeah, you're still hit, though. putting me in range of this dervish but I really want to get on this guy see if we can get him with the barrage as well firing now he missed it's nice and toasty over there though if we can shut him down he'll be trapped in the barrage though we might be able to shut his ass down or at least get it get it really hard for him to move out of there. Now he can move out. Well, maybe not. Gonna trade off with me, are you? Barely a scratch. Go ahead and trade off with me, buddy. All right, we need to get the dervish on this uh, this carrier here. Hmm. Centurion's outside the, uh... He's outside now. Yeah. I knew he was going to get hit by the dervish with the SRMs, but that's fine. We knew it was coming. Not gonna move very far. Wow. Oh, that's the dead fire. Still crappy though. Firing. Yes. I was worried we didn't get him there. Keep forgetting I can't target inside the uh, barrage area here. That's bad. It's almost as bad. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, where's that mountain right here? I can't see the rock that's here. That's where I want to be, though. Alright, you're freed up to attack the Centurion again. I was going to go after the, um... The, uh... Carrier, but... We're free to attack this guy again. That was a critical hit, lad. Laser AMS to crit. Standing in fire, beautiful. Got barrages coming in. That prowler is like stuck in between two barrages. We have an AMS ammo. It might be. He, I, I, he might get out of this one. Nope. Doesn't look like he took, him, took any damage though. Thought he would have. Ooh. Boom. There you go. 
Hit and run tactics, baby. That guy's been a champion this battle. Oh, there's my AMS. This guy wants to trade off with you? Let's just trade off with him. You're better at close range than he is, that's for sure. Switch into LK. Hammer him. Okay, not bad. So start. Look how bra guy He's in the barrage area now, too. Or is he? He's right on the edge, so I don't know if it's going to affect him or not. Yeah, I'd be uh, remiss not to use dead fire on this guy. Oh, he's got MMLs. Inflicted some heavy damage. No long range missiles remaining. Confirmed. MML nines. Those would be nice. Yep, let's fire it all. Miss with the tag. No, we got him. Tag marked. Okay, beautiful. I've got your back. That'll be a kill shot in this guy. His torso is messed up. Well, we could do. That. Not bailing out though. It's not bailing out. Yeah, man, our advanced AMS. It's working wonders at this low level. Oh, he's taking that barrage. Not taking much damage from it though. Minefield on the way. No damage from it though. All right, fire and everything. Good luck, buddy. You're done next turn, probably. And that Shadowhawk, I'm not looking forward to fighting those things. They weren't that scary before, but they seem really scary now. That's a lot of damage in the back of that guy. And yeah, we might still be able to get a sh back shot on him. Okay, Arachne. We gotta kill this guy. We won't kill him, but we're gonna fire at him anyway. We're not moving because it's maximizing our chance to hit. And that Centurion can't do anything. He's too burnt up to do anything and he's about to die, so not that worried. Get to here. Do that. Gotta start doing this more often. Especially if they're going before me. It's gonna help out here in the end.
Now, I don't know if we can save this Centurion. I don't probably not. We're gonna end up shredding this guy, but Talk to me. we don't have any uh We don't have any ability to uh target his leg. So if we shoot him we're gonna kill him. We didn't get much in the leg anyway. His CT's almost gone. Let's see if we can wreck this prowler first. Get rid of this guy. Here we go. That was a critical hit, lad. Don't know. Nice, that should do it. Yep. Two max left. What? No! Damn it. Mission successful. That kind of crap is frustrating. They got to stop that. I guess it's an easier way to get out if you've got problems, but... Man. All right, this says one ejection, but I don't know who ejected. Two, three, four, five vehicles. I wonder if the... Some of the kills in the vehicles, I wonder if the crews bailed out. That's a, That would be interesting. Good XP, though. All right, let's see what we got to take here. LBX 10 AC. I'm going right to the bottom to see if we got ammo for that. Um, cluster, taking one of those. If you want to have that in there. Warfare Suite is a good possibility. I'm going to drop that in there for now. Now, uh, we mentioned about Thunderbolt 5s. How much do these things weigh? Three tons. It's a little more than I expected. Kind of makes sense, though. Now, the damage is 25 on these, right? Yeah. But if we're using HE... Just checking. Um, two tons of HE... Plus two accuracy, AOE conversion, 60% of damage is converted to area effect damage. Deals area effect damage within 70 meters. Removes mines within a one hex radius of impact, plus four stability damage dealt. Missile has three hit points, Thunderbolt five ammo, 12 shots. So we could take two Thunderbolts in this, in theory. We're going to get any use out of them right away? Probably not. Okay, indirect. Fire control system standards, indirect. Meh. XL engine, that would be good for C bills. It's always good. It's like 300 and something thousand. 325,000, I think. If we just sell that, Beagle probes. Tag. Possibility. I don't think there's mind I don't think there's anything up here we're gonna get use of. LBX ten we've already got. So I mean we could take slug ammo. Although I do I do prefer this because of the bonus chance to hit. I know it's like a it's not a pinpoint damage, but although we could, I don't know. All the leader missiles. All hit or all miss. Hits cluster very tightly on a single component. Meh. Oh, these are TBMs, so there's multiples. Oh, well, that's ammo. Wish they came in multiples up here. Okay, I'm going to roll the dice, and I'm going to say that we're going to get a thunder, some Thunderbolts. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take one of these. And hope we get two Thunderbolts. Sounds crazy, but we're going to go for it. Then I'm going to go for C-Bills, because we need to get some mechs um, up and running. This fuel cell, how much is this worth? 2.25 mill and this is 2.5 right yeah so this would be good to take two for C bills I 
and then roll the dice and see what else we get here. Because like I said, there really isn't anything that I, I have to have, with the exception of the cluster ammo. The Warfare Suite's not a have to have, but this is a really good, it's a really good suite to be using. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, large laser. Do we need it? We got lots. So let's just get rid of that. SRM2 streak. We're not going to use that. Case for sure. Tag for sure. We're going to use those. Might as well just sell them now. Um, yeah, 292,000, 292,000. Of course, I'm not using the XL because that's just me. 325, fire control system standard. Oh, God, I got a bunch of those. Heat sink. And LRM Thunder, that's not bad. Machine gun can go. SRM ammo can go. We got a ton of TBM5 ammo, but no TBM5s. I mean, look at that. I mean, at least when we get TBMs, We'll have ammo for them, but I can't believe that. All the ammo, but no weapons. Just cr that's crazy. All right, twenty-four thousand repairs. Not that bad. Let's manage our tasks a bit here. Yeah, a couple of days, we're fine. Three days, and we're back. All right, so I'm gonna stay through the financial report here. We got two point seven five million, which is enough to get that um, that mortis up and running. With something, so like I, I'm gonna, I'm actually batch recording these episodes, uh, so it'll be a few days before the mort mortis will be up and running. Um, I've got, well, I don't have limited time, but I, I got to record in batches for sure now. So um, gonna do some batch recording, and then so most likely after the next episode, um, I'll have had a chance to read your comments, and we'll load it out. Um, and hopefully we can pick up some more gear over the next couple of days too that will help that out. Uh, but the Centurion can be an LBX build now which I think is nice because we've got now that we've got the extra ton of ammo. I didn't want to go in with only one ton of ammo. 10 rounds or 10 turns of firing just isn't enough for us. We've been going uh, over 10 rounds of firing. So especially in the second lance. Um, so it's nice that we've got two tons of ammo for that now. So I'll probably bring that forward after this financial report and we'll work on well, you know what? I'll wait to bring it forward until we figure out what we're doing with the Mortis. Then we'll pull out two of the Urban Max, move the Menshin into the second lance, with bring the Centurion in for the second lance, and then bring the Mortis into the main lance. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.